in this lecture let us discuss about phases of natural language processing natural language processing is separated into five primary stages or phases starting with simple word processing and progressing to identifying complicated phrase meanings so here nlp it analyzes numerous components of human languages so it can be either syntax semantics pragmatics morphology so it will analyze all these things in order to comprehend their structure and meaning of the sentence so the five phases in nlp are here you can see the picture first we have lexical analysis syntax analysis semantic analysis discourse analysis and pragmatic analysis first one is lexical analysis and morphological so here lexical analysis is considered as the initial step in nlp it entails recognizing and analyzing word structures so the collection of words and phrases in a language they are referred to as lexicon so this is a process of breaking down text file into paragraphs phrases and words so it scans a given source code as stream of characters and after that it will convert them into meaningful lexemes and lexical analysis is the process of breaking down the text file so here the given text is broken down into paragraph sentences and words though so if a book is given then the entire book is divided into paragraph sentences or words it refers to the study of text at at the level of individual words then it searches for morphemes Uh, which are nothing but smallest units of a word then lexical analysis it also identifies relationship between these morphemes which are nothing but smallest units of a word and transforms the word into its root form so the words probable parts of speech are also assigned by the lexical analyzer coming to the second one syntax analysis syntax analysis it is mainly used to check the grammar word arrangements whether the words are arranged properly or not as well as a relationship between or relationship among the words so it will take care of arranging words and also display relationship between them it examines the syntax of the word in the given phrase and arranges them in a way that demonstrates the relationship between them so how the words are arranged they are arranged in such a way that it demonstrates a relationship between them syntax analysis it guarantees the structure of a particular piece of text whether the the piece of text is in proper format or not and it even tries to parse the sentence in order to ensure that the grammar is correct at the sentence level syntax analyzer it analyzes signs pos tags based on the sentence structure given the probable pos created in the preceding stage so best example for the syntactic analysis is see if a sentence is given like this new york goes to john so this sentence new york goes to john this will be rejected by the syntactic analyzer because it doesn't make any sense so if i say john goes to new york then that is the correct sentence if i say it in reverse new york goes to john that is syntactically incorrect so that that will be rejected by the syntactic analyzer third one is semantic analysis so semantic analysis it always looks for meaning in a given sentence or given statement so it is always concerned with the meaning representation it even concentrates on literal meaning of the words phrases and sentence so that's the main focus of semantic analysis it even deals with putting words together to form sentences and it extracts exact meaning or dictionary definition then after extracting the meaning the meaning of the text te given text is examined okay so here main focus is on literal meaning of words phrases and sentences 
and after extracting the meaning again the meaning of the text is examined so if you take an example the guava ate an apple so this sentence or this line is syntactically valid but it is not providing any meaning so it is illogical because guavas it cannot eat right guava cannot eat anything so this is illogical so these type of sentences they will be rejected by the semantic analyzer and the fourth one is discourse integration so discourse integration it always depends upon the sentences that precedes it and it will try to invoke the meaning of the sentence that follow it so the meaning of any sentence it is determined by the meaning of the sentence say there are these are two sentences so in order to get the meaning of the sentence so the meaning of this sentence is determined by meaning of the immediately preceding sentence it even establishes the meaning of the sentence that follows it so this helps to establish meaning of the sentence that follows it so the sentences that comes before it so sentence which comes before this sentence they play a key role in this discourse integration So if you take this example, John got ready at nine a.m. Later, he took the train to California. So let me erase this part. So these are two sentences. Now, so discourse integration it always uh, depends on the previous sentence, right? So in order to get that. who in order to know who this he is in this sentence i need the help of the previous sentence so if i go through the previous one then i can identify that this he refers to john he is depending on preceding sentence that is john word in the preceding sentence so discourse is concerned with the impact of a prior sentence on the correct sentence and the last phase is pragmatic analysis here the overall communicative and social content as well as its impact on interpretation so they are considered as the focus of this phase we can say that this is a complex phase because here machine should have knowledge not only about the text provided as input but it should also have knowledge on the real world because there might be multiple scenarios where uh, user intention may be misunderstood if the machine does not have real world knowledge so intention of the user uh, so here the machine should understand intention of the user or intention of intent of a sentence see here yeah, if the example is switch on the tv so in this case machine should uh, understand whether the user is requesting to switch on the tv or whether it is an order of the user so in such scenarios if the machine does not have real world knowledge then it may go wrong so here it uh, this pragmatic analysis phase translates the given text using the knowledge gathered in the preceding stages